Hello, everyone. Welcome to Practical Business Podcast, bringing practical solutions to business um, issues faced by entrepreneurs in today's global market. My name is Tomi Abibo, serial entrepreneur, business strategist, author, and business growth expert. I have been discussing and bringing solutions on how you can transform and grow your business in this ever competitive world, how to brand and sell yourself and your company, how to see and create business opportunities and increase sales in this global market. It's no more you waiting for an opportunity, but for you to create an opportunity, creating the demand regardless of the market situation. Now, with the um, global uncertainty and the stock markets go- going everywhere, you know, it's. I think the question now today is that you may be asking yourself is, where should I invest now? Where should I invest now? Recently, um, Trump has proposed opening the, uh, the US market because of the um, global impacts um, from this coronavirus situation, um, although the UK has extended this lockdown even further until 7th of May. Now, let's have a brief look on what's happening in the stock market today. As of today, well, the oil is down by um, 1.38%. Uh, Euro is up just slightly by 0.25%. Gold is, even gold is struggling. It's just up by 0.01%. Now, all the sector are performing poorly right now. The performance is very low. All of them are down. The retail communications, utilities, technology, electronics. And I found that the um, biggest drop is in finance and energy. Now, all of this is, I guess, the reason for, for this um global um, uncertainty is because of what we're going through right now, the coronavirus situation where all countries, most countries are on lockdown. Now, so what should you do? Where, how should you invest? Where should you invest? You may have heard of the, um, this statement, the greatest investment you can ever have is yourself. Well, this is so true now. If you're going to make any investment on anything, it has to be on yourself right now. The truth is, there's a lot of assumptions on what's going to happen now. I mean, after the lockdown, how, what's going to happen to the stock market, whether it's going to bounce back immediately, whether it's going to be an exponential growth, whether everything is going to be fine in six months or in a year's time. Everyone is just forecasting at the moment. So how, how, do, you want to, how do you want to play it? How do you want to invest at the moment? There is one thing I believe that is for certain, and you can see the effects right now, is unemployment. Unemployment is going to rise right now. It's been proposed by that by June, I think May or end of June, that the un- unemployment rate in the UK is going to be around 30%. 30%. That is quite high. That is the highest I have ever known so far. That is quite high. Now, what is going to happen to these unemployed people, what is going to happen to them? Now, you can understand why there's going to be unemployment because I believe that businesses are unable to keep the salaries. Businesses are unable to keep the people. In fact, after the lockdown, businesses would have to make a decision what sort of employee they would bring back to their work workforce. It has got to be the best of the best. It has got to be someone that is going to add value to the company. So gone are the days where uh, employees have just been getting away with a lot of things. When uh, business owners are going to make a decision now, they have to look at their top employees because it's most of them, if, if not all, will not be able to bring back most of their employees. So then, how does that affect you? How does that affect you as an entrepreneur? How does that affect you as a business owner? Let's look at this scenario. If most, if the um, employment rate is going to go up, right? Oh, sorry, if the unemployment rate is going to go up, right? Now, a certain percentage of these unemployed people are going to stay on benefit. In fact, most, most people will be on, on unemployment benefit, but the government cannot sustain this for very long anyway. So they're going to be pushed out 
some way or some somehow to start looking for work. Well, there's not a lot of work out, out there. What is going to happen to them? So what's going to happen is majority of these unemployed people are going to start looking for how to start their own business. So there's going to be an influx of entrepreneurs, an influx of aspiring entrepreneurs, and a lot of people are going to start their own businesses. A lot of people are going to get into business because they have to survive one way or the other. They have to leave one, one way or the other. And so a majority of these people are going to start their own business. And how does that affect you? It's going to increase the global, the, the global competition. The market is going to be saturated. The market is going to be saturated because there's going to be a lot of people getting into business, depending on whatever the sector is. In fact, all sectors, I, I believe, they're going to start have, starting their own business. They're going to start running their own business and they're going to have possibly government backup with regards to loans or support, which got to funding to start their own business. So that means competition is going to be fierce. Now, how can you can how can you survive as a business owner? How can you, as an entrepreneur, be uh, benefit from this? The only thing you can do, as I said earlier on, is to invest in yourself. In yourself, the areas where you believe that you are weak, where you believe that you're not you're not good at. You need to start investing in yourself. If it's branding, if it's marketing, if it's sales, you need to bring out your A game because the only people that is going to that is going to stand out in the market, in the fierce competitive market, are the people that can stand out, are the people where the branding is clear. Your brand has to be clear. Your messaging has to be clear. In fact, if you haven't had a good clarity in your message, this is the time. Your branding has to stand out. If you were good before, now you have got to be the best. Now you have got to be the best in your industry. Now you have got to be, if you're local business, if you're a, a, a national business, you have to bring out your A game. In fact, I know sometimes it might be difficult at the moment for majority of companies to be branding themselves. I believe when the, now that the market is sort of quiet, this is a time for you to start uh, advertising yourself. This is the time you need to start marketing yourself and be investing in yourself. Have a look at your business structure. Have a look at your business processes. Have a look at your branding. Have a look at yourself. How can you stand out if the, your market, if your industry becomes so competitive? So, Going back to the topic of my discussion today is you have to, I believe that this is the time where you invest in yourself. So if you're asking the question, how should I invest? Where should I invest? You need to invest in yourself. Get the trainings out there, whatever training that needs to help you that needs to bring, help you to bring out your A game, this is the time to invest in yourself, okay? So going back to the message for today, there's going to be high unemployment. In fact, it started already and people are already seeing the effect of unemployment. The government are seeing the effect because of the number, the millions of people that have already, uh, um, that have already, um, applied for an unemployment uh, benefit so it's high already and when businesses are back they are not going to be back with the full force of all the employees they have they're going to start slowly okay so the message from here today as i said is to invest in yourself make your brand stronger than ever advertise now, market now, so that your brand sticks out into the minds of people, okay? So then, that's um, that's it for today. Again, you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter at Tommy Abibu. I also currently deliver free content and business coaching on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 11 a.m. on Facebook Live. 
and on Instagram on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I have also created a time management blueprint uh, to help you during this lockdown. I would attach this um, this link with this podcast where you can download. It's designed to help you create a routine so you can manage your physical, mental, spiritual health, uh, including your personal development and family time during this lockdown. So please give this podcast a a five star if you're listening on the Apple podcast as I'm giving you a free, giving you, uh, giving out a free content and please also share with others as well. It will mean the world to me. So stay safe and stay calm.